This video is closed captioned. Top 10 Most Dangerous Travel Destinations Traveling the world is a wonderful experience, and we love telling you about all the places you can visit. But despite everything, one must also consider the potential risks of traveling to dangerous locations. Whether it is the crime rate or a full-blown civil war, the places we will talk about today should be avoided at all costs. We know that hardcore travelers still find a way to get to those countries, but we do not recommend it. So let us begin. If you enjoyed this video, please join us on our journey around the world by subscribing to our channel. Please click the bell icon to get notified when we publish a new video. Number 1. Syria Syria is home to one of the oldest civilizations in the world and is, or rather, was a tourist paradise. Since 2011, Syria had been engulfed in violent strife. There is no place in Syria that is safe from violence, armed group kidnappings, unlawful arrests and or detentions, chemical warfare, shelling, and aerial bombardment of civilian centers all pose a severe risk of death or serious damage. Infrastructure, housing, medical institutions, schools, and power, and water utilities have all been destroyed, adding to the country's problems. Government troops use violent measures to disperse protests and demonstrations, and protesters, activists, and political dissenters are often detained without access to legal counsel or communication with friends and relatives. The civil war that began in 2011 seems to have abated as government forces have taken control over most of the country. Terrorist groups with linkages to ISIS and Al-Qaeda are still active, which pose a huge risk to all travelers. Aside from this, the biggest concern is that most private airlines have suspended their flights to and from Syria. And even if you are lucky enough to get a ticket, you might never be able to get out from the airport as it can close at a moment's notice. So we recommend that you guys avoid going to this war-torn country until the situation settles. Okay, travelers, the sponsor of today's video is SEOServiceAgents.com. I have negotiated a discount code for all my viewers to get you a 20% discount on your first order with seoserviceagents.com. There's a link in the description. The discount code is TRAVELDRONER. Contact them for a free audit today. Thank you, SEO Service Agents, for sponsoring this video. Now, let us continue with the video. Number 2. Somalia Somalia is located on Africa's Horn of Africa, sandwiched between Ethiopia to the west, Djibouti to the north, and Kenya to the south. Somalia has a tumultuous history, a troubled past, and a precarious political status. Civil wars, military coups, and border conflicts were all common occurrences in Ethiopia until 2007 when the Ethiopian army withdrew after defeating an Islamist government. However, due to the re-emergence of Islamist groups and other clans, violence has increased. As a result, it is a very dangerous destination for potential tourists. Several governments have issued travel advisories for this country, citing concerns about terrorism, kidnapping, and other forms of violent crime. Given that Somalia has been without a functioning administration for 17 years, the country's roadways and transportation systems have understandably suffered. The roads are in poor condition, and there are only two options for getting around Somalia, buses or taxis. As you might expect, neither is safe especially buses which may become roadblocks and passengers robbed, mugged, or worse. Number 3. Venezuela Venezuela is a beautiful country for tourists to visit, but currently Venezuela is suffering extremely high levels of violence and petty crime as a result of its current political predicament. Violent crime is rampant in both the capital, Caracas, and the countryside, and you are a prime target as a foreigner. If you are a victim of crime, don't expect justice. Just a small fraction of crimes, around 1%, result in trials and convictions. The country has one of the world's top five highest murder rates per capita. Foreign nationals are kidnapped from their houses, hotels, unlicensed taxis, and airport terminals. Like the Avila National Park, even well-known tourist destinations are becoming more closely linked to violent crimes. The impoverished communities or barrios that round Caracas costs 
Even in congested market areas where there is little or no police presence, groups of thieves would regularly surround their victims and use a chokehold to disable them in these locations and other parts of the city. Pickpockets are also an issue in downtown Caracas, concentrating in and around packed bus and metro stations. Number 4. Libya Libya is a North African country with a Mediterranean Sea coastline between Egypt to the east and Tunisia to the west. Algeria, Chad, Niger, and Sudan share borders with it. More than 90% of the country is covered in desert or semi-desert, therefore there isn't much variety in terms of geography. It could have been an ideal place for tourism with all its history and unique locations, but unfortunately the overwhelming security concerns need to be considered. Many governments have issued explicit travel warnings for Libya, citing substantial political and social unrest and instability caused by the country's ongoing civil war following the removal of its president. Armed militia organizations continue to exist in many cities and places, and their presence can be deadly. If you're currently in Libya, avoid public gatherings, potentially lethal demonstrations, and regions where militia groups are known to get engaged in clashes. All in all, avoid going to this country until the political turmoil is over. Number 5. Papua New Guinea Papua New Guinea is a little-known destination. It has a lot to see and do, from diving and exploring World War II vintage wrecks to jungle walks and over 600 tropical islands to discover. But like many amazing locations, it isn't quite heaven. When you combine a strong gang culture and pervasive violence with natural hazards like tropical cyclones, earthquakes, and volcanic eruptions, you have a recipe for disaster. Being a part of the Ring of Fire is a unique experience. Volcanic eruptions, earthquakes, and tsunamis are constantly a threat in Papua New Guinea. Aside from natural calamities like flash flooding and cyclones, there is a high rate of violent crimes. In Papua New Guinea, there are some serious law and order challenges. There is a lot of corruption, and walking around in many of its cities after nightfall is extremely dangerous. Number 6. Afghanistan Now, if you guys are even a little bit aware of the things going around in the world, you must know that following the pullout of American and Allied troops, an extremist Islamic government has taken over control of the country. This takeover was followed by a small civil war as the incumbent government and its supporters refused to hand over the reins to the country. In addition to that, around 79% of the roadways are made of dirt. Public transit consists of people, animals, and products being crammed into limited spaces on the roofs of buses and trucks. Petty theft and pickpocketing are common in Afghanistan, so if you must leave your lodging and roam the streets, be careful not to flash your valuables. It is strongly advised to avoid using dangling cameras, flashing money or credit cards, or wearing expensive jewelry. Also, avoid large gatherings as the rebels might attack such gatherings. So, we recommend that you forget for now any travel plans to this country. Number 7. Ukraine Traveling in Ukraine is not secure, and there is a significant risk if you plan on visiting sections of the country that are under Russian control. Luhansk, Donetsk, and Crimea are the regions in question, and the Ukrainian government currently has no power over them. Even if tensions between Russia and Ukraine are unlikely to harm tourists, you should be aware that government services such as police, hospitals, firefighters, and ambulance services are not available. Crossing into this portion of Ukraine from Russia is forbidden, and crossing into Russia is strictly discouraged. Avoid visiting Chernobyl and the entire radiation zone including the ghost city of Pripyat. But if you must go, do so with a tour, as traveling alone to these areas of the country is prohibited. Do not leave or separate from your tour group. In terms of criminality, you should aim to keep a low profile and avoid revealing that you are a tourist. But the best is not to visit for now until the situation is more stable. Number 8. Myanmar Myanmar is a Southeast Asian jewel that has yet to be uncovered. It is our favorite since it is a cultural paradise with a diverse ethnic population, a rich history, and beautiful scenery. It isn't, however, a full paradise. There has been a 70-year-old ethnic civil war, persecution of Rohingya Muslims, landmines, bandits, and the opium trade, to name a few major issues. Poverty and corruption abound. The military dominates the country and armed inter-ethnic warfare rages on. Myanmar is also after Afghanistan, the world's second largest opium producer. 
Myanmar status is a little problematic as of February 2021. The military staged a coup and imprisoned the administration, which was duly elected. It is unclear how the situation will play out, as rioting, civil unrest, and martial law are in place, which makes this country hard to consider. Number 9. Honduras Honduras is very biodiverse. With the second largest barrier reef in the world, beaches, and a stunning turquoise sea, as well as a plethora of Mayan sites, Great Gothi, and the second largest rainforest in the Americas. However, this place is far from perfect. The Central American country faces the same problems that many other countries in the region have faced or are facing corruption, gangs, and drugs. These are accompanied by violence and poverty. Honduras is also considered to be one of the murder capitals of the world. However, the government has claimed that there has been a 52% decrease in violent crime over the past five years. So, while the country is getting safer, it will be a while before you can visit it freely without worrying about all the crimes and violence. Number 10. Democratic Republic of Congo Home to some of the rarest animals in the world, the Democratic Republic of Congo is a rare country to visit. However, the security situation in eastern DRC continues to be precarious. The presence of armed organizations, military operations against them, intercommunal violence, and an influx of refugees from neighboring countries contribute to the deteriorating political, security, and humanitarian situation. Kidnappings, especially of international NGOs, workers, continue to be reported. Another problem with DRC is the demonstrations that take place. They aren't good news, and tourists should avoid photographing or watching them as it is bound to get messy. But it is still a lot safer than some of the other countries that we have listed above. We hope you enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments section below the video. And if you like this video, be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you will be the first to know when we publish a new video. Thanks for watching.